right guys, went back today with another high value and budget 9mm handgun and this is probably one of the cheapest 9mm handguns I've bought complete in a while. I've been reviewing a lot of the Palmetto State Armory Dagger and occasionally you can grab an upper and a frame, put them together and get it right around 250 or sometimes even 200 if you're following my channel. Now this is the BRG9 Elite and I found it in a pawn shop find video. I had no intention of purchasing this handgun or even reviewing this handgun, and I really wasn't aware of a lot of the features or really anything about this handgun until I found it at that shop. Now, I found it at Shooters Express in Gaston County, and if you head over there, tell them 704 Tactical sent you over. So in the pawn shop find video, we were competing to put together a $1,000 arsenal, and I saw this, and their buyer's club price was right at about $230 for this complete kit. So it came with the gun itself, two 16 round mags, two extra back straps, a mag loader, all of the cleaning brushes, actual oil, a cleaning mat, and a lock all in the case. Plus the case was custom cut with incredibly nice foam. And this whole setup looks like it belongs to a six or $700 handgun, but we are talking sub $230 is what I grabbed this for plus tax. Now, I think they had a few left. Um, again, that was Shooters Express, but I looked these up online and the going MSRP on these things, I think is $399 and the street price is right around $260. So it was very interesting that these guys had it for even more affordable than what I could find it online. But we're just gonna call this about a $260 handgun and dig into the specs and features. So we've already talked about what it comes in the box and everything actually works out incredibly nice when you are talking talking about just how it works. I mean, the setup, the kit, the mag loader, everything, just really slick. When you look at the pistol, it definitely reminds me of other more popular handguns on the market, uh, especially with this grip safety. Now, I didn't love it when I first saw it, but after shooting it, it's actually not that big of a deal. It doesn't dig into your hands. It sits pretty flush once your hand grabs it, and I've never not bumped it. I mean, I've never not kind of actuated that. Every time I grip the handgun, it's super simple. You never really have to worry about that. Next thing I want to mention is the 16 round mags. They've been doing really nice down at the range. They insert super smooth with that mag well and drop free. So that's actually really nice. Uh, the button itself is protected by this lip. I actually wish it was just a touch easier to get to, but overall, no complaints. The pistol itself is actually very ergonomic. And despite it being a thicker slide, the way this contours up, you actually get a very high grip on the hand gun and it guides your thumb right into place to keep it out of the way of some of the controls. The slide release on this also is really slick and it is super comfortable and easy to use. So for those reloads, you can slam in the mag, drop that down and you're good to go. The finger grooves in the front have a little bit of larger texturing and the side texturing leaves a little bit to be desired, but overall it's got plenty of grip for what you need. It's got an undercut trigger guard allowing your hand to fit perfectly and get a full size purchase. Moving a little bit further up, the sights themselves are three dot sights with a high vis orange on the front and they work out great down at the range are actually metal sights. The cocking serrations are good, allowing you to cock the handgun or do press checks up at the front. And it does have a couple of pick rail slots at the top, although this is very truncated, so a lot of lights don't fit. I've kind of resorted to a lot of the Olight adjustable track system lights. It does have some texturing in the front of the trigger guard if you wanted to wrap your hand around. I don't do that stuff, but you could. The trigger itself is actually, let's make sure it's clear one more time, a very smooth take up. So you can depress that trigger bar, smooth take up, hits a wall, little sponginess, but a very crisp break. The reset is fairly short, not the shortest I've ever felt, but pretty decent. Little sponge and a break. So it's a lightweight feeling trigger and it works. It works incredibly well. The overall gun feels solid. The fit and finish is pretty darn good. I like, I'm finding no complaints. So when I took it to the range, I was like, well, it might not be reliable. 
No, that's not the case at all. So far, I've only put about three, 350 rounds through it, but it was Callaway Ballistics 9mm Reman ammo is what we put the most of it through there, and it worked out great. Also want to give these guys a huge shout out. They have a code 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200. They just dropped their 9mm really low, and you can get it for under $11 a box if you use my discount code and buy $200 worth. They also have 65 Creedmoor, 300 Blackout, 762 by 39 Subsonic, and a ton of other ammo. And again, a lot of price drops going on right now, so don't forget that code on that ammo. Also ran 147 grain from Calloway Ballistics and 124 grain with no issues whatsoever. It was just super functional down at the range. This actually pointed and shot really well. I did a quick accuracy test, and it was very tight groups for the handgun. No issues there. Um, and the recoil impulse was not bad at all. I saw this big chunky slide at the top, so I thought it was going to be kind of a ton of reciprocating mass, jostling it around, but it shot incredibly fast um, and flat. I like it. I have almost no complaints about this handgun. I mean, I wouldn't mind if the grip safety was gone, but it's really not getting in the way. My biggest concern would be the pick rail. I wish this was slightly longer, allowing it for one more notch, maybe to the end of the pistol right here, so you could get lights on there easily. Another complaint would be holster compatibility. You're going to have to find holsters that fit this, but as a pistol itself, as a standalone handgun, this thing rocks especially at the price i can't believe how pumped i am about this handgun i actually took it back to the range a couple more times just because it was so fun to shoot i was really surprised i haven't been this excited about a budget handgun since the dagger now the dagger definitely has its advantages and disadvantages compared to this handgun so i'm trying to do all of these reviews so you guys can pick the best high value and budget options that are right for your arsenal but if you saw a kit like this pop up for a great price i wouldn't hesitate to snag it. It's a great opportunity to get a solid 9mm handgun. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.